Okay, so to animate a target camera, just drop into camera, target camera. Um, if you then look through the camera, you can find where the target is. So the target is going to be here. And if I move the target, the camera is going to follow the target at any time, right? So a few different ways. One is, there we go. Okay. So the action of this thing is this thing kind of inflating and stuff starts to drip down, right? So what I could do with the target camera is I can, simply animate the target. So if I click on the target, it's going to start here. I'll just drop in a keyframe as my animation plays. Then I probably want the camera to start looking down. So maybe at, I don't know, let's just try this. Let's just move this camera down here and just click another keyframe. So now what we should have is this thing starts to build up and we follow that thing moving down. All right. And if we go out of the camera and we kind of preview the motion, you can see what's happening is that the camera's following that target as it goes down in the sequence. Okay. So that would be definitely a way that you could animate um, the target camera. Like that. And let's just do another camera to illustrate another way. So let's just have this animation like this. And sort of dripping stuff is starting. Okay. So now I'm going to put another target camera in. Look through that one. Okay. Oops, I didn't put a target camera in. Uh, there we go. Okay. Car target camera two, camera one. All right. Look through this one. Okay. So we're going to start here. And then instead of animating the target, I'm going to animate the camera. All right. So the target, I'm actually going to lower this a little bit. Maybe something like that. Okay. And then for this one, what I'll do is I'm going to do all views so I can see this a little bit better. And what happens then if I'm on the camera and I move it, it's going to follow the target, but the camera is going to move, right? So for this, what I can do is start at zero, drop in a keyframe. Uh, let's play this through a little bit so we can see what happens. Okay, that's good. And then maybe at 80, I'll move the camera this way a little bit. So it kind of zooms out and hit a keyframe. So now the target stays the same. And as we play, the camera moves, and sort of follows that, right? So the, in this case, two different types of, of, of cameras. First one is animating the target, target drops, camera follows it, all right? And the second one is target stays the same, but the camera moves its angle, so it kind of rotates around it a little bit. So two different, two different ways of animating the camera with the um, target camera, which I think can be, can be really helpful.